I won the set, won the but I didn't actually win it. I would have lost. <laughs> I'm curious yeah. about yeah. the character choices here. Because these two have uh, two characters at their disposal. Youngster Joey does yeah. have Lucina and Mario, and signed just with uh, Link and uh, Yank. So. Probably going to see the Yank from Sejanus. I know that that's his preferred character in this game. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. I feel like Link is just slow for Lucina to deal with. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Depending on who Youngster Joey starts with. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna start Mario. Yeah, I think I, I think I agree with that. That'd be smart because Mario can. Mario is probably a better Wi-Fi choice. Yeah, for sure. Plus, better he choice against the Wi-Fi. Wi better choice against the Wi-Fi character that is. Yeah. So yeah, here we go. Game number one on PS2. Let's see. Youngster Joey rocking the the Freddy dish tag, in honor of the guy who uh, put together the fantasy bracket. Oh yeah. Yeah, I forgot. I actually, I actually wanted to pick Sejanus, but somebody picked him like two or three spots before me. I had a feeling he'd do well today. I actually haven't seen uh, the spots. Where can you find that? What do you, do you mean the, the fantasy roster? So the bracket yeah, itself? Yeah. The fantasy roster. I don't know where the bracket is. Uh, it's just then, a Google Doc. I can, uh, I can send it to you after the set. Sounds good. Oh, one funny thing I find about this Link, uh, this Yink uh, skin. So it's the only What's one that? wearing. It's the only one that wears pants or tights. Is that true? Yes. <laughs> I never, never noticed that before. That's funny. <laughs> Either did I until I, I looked at. I looked at his legs. I'm like, those are not his skin color. Yeah. 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 One of the so Young Link is definitely going to be using a lot of projectiles, but uh, Mar once Mario gets in. Uh, oh, he a... almost got that kill. If he'd gone for fair instead of up air, I think it would have been a kill. But instead, he'll just settle for an up B not working. Classic. Uh, I'm getting straight. His problem. movement. His his movement with these projectiles. His movement with these uh, boomerangs yeah. is really impressive. That F throw is going to take it. Yep, barely. So we have a completely even second stock. Oh, geez, I'm way behind. Are you? Just try refreshing, maybe. I did. The stream went a little bit crazy. I there, see. We there we go. So uh, 46 percent now 72. With yeah, so Jonas is getting his conversions where they matter. We have to see if uh, we're gonna have to see if youngster Joey can respond accordingly. Right now it looks like Sejanus is just totally taking control. Both these characters are really good at racking up damage, but Young Link can yeah. just do that from a distance compared to Mario, who oh, actually wow. has to get close in. What a trap. He got the B-reverse arrow, which launched Youngster Joey into a tech situation on the platform. And then to punish the missed tech, he did a short hop down air. <laughs> down air. I just saw that. That was insane. Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen a Young Link do that before. That was pretty cool. That was pretty insane. Yeah, it sends him in like... It takes a lot for me to call a Young Link combo cool. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Oh, a he lot almost... Lot Youngster Joey down. almost got that up air spring into pairs, but I think he could have... I think he drifted a bit too far in on his full hop to get the pair to connect. Because the DI from Sejanus was not fantastic there. Yeah, for sure. But uh, Sejanus is doing a pretty good job just keeping Mario yes. out. <clears throat> oh, really nice uh, ledge. Really nice option uh, to get out of the corner there. He does a B-reverse arrow to mix up his movement and maybe catch Youngster Joey and his, stop him in his tracks for a second there. The Mario up smash trades with Young Link's giant sword on the down air. Yeah, gets the grab, forces Youngster Joey off stage, and it's just one conversion away for Sejanus at this point. Yeah. Uh... Youngster Joey does have to be careful that I'm pretty sure uh, Young Link's down air will kill up the, this percent, especially if he's on a platform. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Back air and shield. I think it actually might have uh, shield poked. Oh, yeah. He tried to go for the up smash to, to um, poke Youngster Joey's shield, and it didn't. So he got up smashed instead. It's a last stock situation. But, uh, Youngster Joey hasn't really been able to get too many of the combos that Mario is known for, and so I feel like, honestly, his chances of winning this game 
hinge upon getting some sort of jank with a fair. Yeah, or even uh, pushing away with flood without a bomb in hand. Okay, he gets a couple of up airs. 68% on Sejinus. Reads the normal getup with the grab. 94.6%. And he gets the back air. <laughs> he went for the K, he went for the uh, ledge trump with the K into a back air, and Sejinus couldn't make it back. So youngster Joey steals game one. Really good, really good play on that last stock. Yeah, that last that was, was impressive. Insane. Yeah, really good awareness. Just taking it because he was pretty behind. If he had that loud sign just back on stage, it would have been insane. Sejinus, Sejinus. Sejinus. We'll call him Sejinus. Okay. I hope that's right because I don't want to be wrong. No, I think I think it's it's Sejinus. The actual, um, the actual word that uh, Sejinus is a type of a star, and that, and that and in that context, that is the pronunciation Sejinus. So I'm just going to assume that it's the same for this guy's tag. Okay, works for me. So uh, going to game two now. Sejinus does have a lead now. Oh no, uh, Youngster Joey's in the lead. I remember he just did it. and we're just going back straight to PS2. Alrighty then. No hesitation. I do apologize if I'm not commentating as much. I'm like really That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm very curious to see <clears throat> how assertive Sejinus is willing to be in the second game. Because after, after allowing a comeback like that, I can assure you that most players mentalities would be a little bit shaken up and they'd maybe play a bit more tentatively, a bit more reservedly in the next game. But right now it looks like he's uh, he's not deviating too much from his game plan. Gets that landing there to stop that Mario string. Oh wow. <clears throat> the, the, uh, the hurt box shift on Mario's F smash, the infamous hurt box shift. Mm -hmm. Gets uh, youngster Joey away from that down tilt, and rewards him with the with Sejinus' first stock. Uh oh. What's up? What's up? There's a second sequence of Scrump Robot. Oh no. Where at? Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't watch that right now. <laughs> you watch it later. <laughs> Oh my lord. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> yeah, I think Sejinus is getting a bit impatient. He went for that up smash when youngster Joey was shielding. He misses that down air conversion. Okay, he gets that drag down fair into the up smash. But yeah, what I was talking about at the start of the game is what I think might be happening a bit. Is, he's a, is Sejinus is flustered because he gave up that lead in game one, so he's altered his game plan a bit for the worse so far. Youngster Joey is capitalizing on the fact that he's feeling a bit shaken up. For sure. Nonetheless, for the time being, it's still an even stock game. One of the things that I'm not seeing Sejinus go for, which I think he could be getting some mileage out of, is the up he had a shield. Oh yeah, for sure, because that can lead into a kill with the up air. Yeah, it's a pretty reliable tool in this matchup because um, Mario's going to be doing a lot of back airs and nares on shield. Or, sorry, back airs and up airs on shield. And you can't always nair that on a shield because of how long Mario's back air is. Yeah. So, up he had a shield is a better option. Oh, nice. He clips him with that uh, last hit of the up B, but can't get the follow-up edge guard. So for the time being, youngster Joey is pres is preserving a stock lead. And as I say it, he gets Sejinus gets the drag down back here into up smash. And now it's only 44%. It's a lot more doable than uh, the second stock deficit was. Yeah, I think you're definitely right. I'd like to see a lot more up east out of shield, considering that move is so hard to <clears> the eye. He just did it right there. He's listening to us. Confirmed. Already. I have no idea. So. Yeah. Yeah. 29% on Youngster Joey. Now 49%. Sejinus has him in the corner. 
but then Youngster Joey gets that really good fair into up air. Sejanus is in some trouble in terms of percentage. This back throw won't kill yet, but it's going to put him in a very precarious position. 59 to 150. One grab or back or back air, one back throw or back air near the ledge is all it's going to take. That downer is not going to kill yet because only the last hit connected. So Jinus gets the grab. Youngster Joey's off stage. Oh, he went for the down air. He went for the down air to end it all. That was an, exci that was an exciting off stage sequence, but it did not pan out in Sejanus' favor. So. Ooh, try to go for the down air. That didn't work. I like the attack. Nope. We really wanted to get that stock out of the way. I don't think that was a smart move. We should have just went back to ledge. And so Youngster Joey takes a 2-0 lead. Sejanus is a game away from having his Arcadian run ended at ninth place. Mm -hmm. Got another update for you in bracket. We have uh, Luke Duke taking it 3-0 over Fuji. Yeah. With Karam Joker. We have Toad Player 64 up 2-0 over Felix right now. And then Thick and Crescendo will be waiting for this set to end. Is it Losers Round 3 top 8 or is that Loser Quarter? Losers Round 3 is top 8. Okay. okay. Gotcha. So we got about like two more matches. This may be our last one, actually. <clears throat> yeah, we have this one and then, and then one more. Okay. That's good. You guys get potentially more robot scrum clips for a good time. As long as you're on commentary, there will be incentive for them to stick around in case there's another <laughs> robot <laughs> scrum sure. instance. For sure, indeed. Yeah. So Smashville is going to be Sejanus' counterpick for game three. Why? It's interesting. It's interesting to me. I mean, I feel like this was a pretty solid stage for Mario in terms of combos. Mm -hmm. Not as good as Battlefield or Yoshi's, but this also might help uh, considering that uh, youngster Joey could uh, easily evade Young's projectiles with that middle platform. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. It's a bit of a safe space that he's got. Yeah. And yeah, so far we are seeing youngster Joey maintain stage control. He went for that cute little ledge trump with the cape, and it indirectly led to a kill with that F-Smash. So Youngster Joey looking very solid to start off this game three. Only 60%, 71% on him. Oh, that up tilt. <laughs> that up tilt beat up the startup of Sejanus' F-Smash. That might have actually evened up the game if it had connected. But instead, Youngster Joey preserves the stock lead once again. This is some really good defensive Mario play we're seeing from Youngster Joey. He's getting he's getting some chip damage here and there. He's not relying too much on the on the up air strings. Yeah. He's rather just maintaining a dominant presence in neutral. He's starting to he's starting to see through the projectile patterns that Sejanus has displayed. Good job. He's doing a really good job just keeping uh this is giant. It's just not being able to get anything done. Pressuring with fireballs, using Mario's mobility in general. For sure. Nice up smash out of shield there. And gets the back air. Yep. Three stock to one lead for Youngster Joey, only 110%. And he falls out of the up B again. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, almost dies to the missing a recovery, but the bomb just saved him. Hopefully, uh, okay, he gets the down air. Now it's a stock and 46% down for Sejanus. He's going to need to make quick work of Youngster Joey's second stock. For sure. He's got him off stage, but he doesn't go... He tries to go for a projectile rather than going off stage with an aerial, because Youngster Joey had actually burned his double jump really early there. Yeah, right there. Yeah, that Maybe a bit of a misplay on the part of Sejanus there. Oh, oh no. no, he drifted too far back with the arrow and then couldn't even make it back with an up B, so he just fell to his death. 3-0 for Youngster Joey over Sejanus, really, really good adaptation on the part of the yeah. Manitoba player. His game one was looking very dominant in Sejanus' favor. And uh, he will go to face off uh, Toad player 64 yes. in uh, top eight. 
So Toe Player is definitely making a lot of work. After that Pongo loss, he really needs to... He's really hyping it up, but... Uh, good job with 